Hey guys, take a moment to what the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to transfer your mail from your old iPhone to your new iPhone if the mail didn't transfer through your transfer of data. So let's get started on the latest iOS version. Now, the simple and the easiest way how mail is transferred from your old iPhone to your new iPhone is if you did a backup of your current device by going to your settings, general, and then if you go into your Apple ID here, and then click on iCloud here, and after that, iCloud backup, and you can back up your iCloud just like that, right? You do a backup of it, and then once you do a backup of your iCloud, all you do is simply hop over here to your new iPhone, again, sign with the same Apple ID account, and under iCloud backup, make sure you're signed in, and all of the apps here are available and turned on, things like iCloud Mail, if you're using that iCloud Mail, iCloud Drive is turned on. And besides that, there is no other mail setting here. So when you do transfer it by signing into the new account, when you're downloading all the data from your iCloud, it will automatically, things like your email will get transferred here, the email accounts themselves. So the email works slightly different. When you're using an email website, the emails are actually fetched from the direct server of those mail server that you're using so each provider like iCloud, Microsoft Exchange, Google, Yahoo, all of these ones that are available they actually get the mail from their server when you sign into that account and if you signed into previous account it should just move it over. Now in a case that you did this process and the mail accounts didn't sign up here automatically and the mails aren't loading on the mail app what you'll need to do is simply go to your setting of your old iPhone and then under your setting of your old iPhone all you'll do is find your current mail setting and then under accounts here you'll see the accounts that you already signed in as you can see here I'm using three accounts here and what you'll do on the new phone is simply go ahead into the setting again go to mail accounts and go ahead and add each of them individually so as you can see here iCloud is there and then you can add another one here for example, if I want to add a Gmail, I do the Google one. And what you'll need to do is sign in again to your email and your password. And what will happen is the mail will get pulled or fetched onto the phone. And you'll see all the mail again move over or in a way transfer. But it's actually pulling the data from the servers themselves from your mail provider. And go ahead and add multiple accounts. You can add, as you can see, as many as you need to. And once you do that, open up your mail app all the mails will show up on your account now if you are using any other third-party mail application a popular one such as Gmail right if you want Gmail on its own app and it didn't download here or you're not seeing Gmail here sign in just simply go ahead and sign into the account and then follow the steps here again to continue and then just sign in and your mail will be there as well for however many accounts you have you can pretty much do the same exact thing if you're using other mail apps like Outlook, you can also do that, Yahoo, AOL, whatever the mail app is, you can also do it that way. But if you want all of them in one place, the mail built-in mail app is the place where you can do it. So again, to recap on this video, iCloud backup or even iTunes backup will be able to transfer all of your mail over with your accounts. But in a case you don't see it, you just have to manually sign in and that new, all of your mails will be uh, pretty much fetched or pulled from the mail servers themselves and you'll see all of your mails available. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.